Hello, Pisces. It's time for your predictive 2020 year read for next year, which is 2020. So it's awesome, right? Right. Pisces, this is for sun, moon, rising. Wait. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, Jupiter. Check your birth charts, if you will, if you got to, right? Right. If this resonates with you, kill deal. If it doesn't, don't worry about it because we don't know if the shit's going to be true to begin with. This is predictive. So you could easily change your fate and all that shit and all that jazz and lovely cuddle butts and scuttle butts and all that shit, right? But like, either way, we don't know if this is true yet. But I'll be up for you to figure out by next December. Anyway, Pisces. So, oh, okay. That was immediate. How are you going into... To, how are you leaving 2019? My apologies. Ace of Wands, that brand new motherfucking style, like, look at that fire, it's like a volcano, it's like, it's, it's my penis, or whatever, right? First quarter, Valor, this was not, whatever conflict was there that had you on the defensive, it might be dissipating, but it's like, it was like a, a, a fight you couldn't win or some shit in the first quarter. Within the second quarter... We have abundance, three of cups. You're gonna be lavished in some shit. Maybe even pampered. That's adorable. Get on you, Pisces. God damn it. Okay. Third quarter. That's way too many cards to read at once. Defeated is not. The third quarter of the year, like you are not going to be facing the defeat, but more like a success. It just seemed like a defeat to begin with. Huh. strange maybe you thought you were defeated and then it turns out no the other person was just like some shit right out the fucking blue it's just like what the fuck yo right right last quarter pisces prince of wands or the king of wands leo sag aries someone writing in he's got a bunch of eyeballs like he likes to be watched but that's dirty saying. We're not dirty here. No, we're not. Okay. Anyway, let's see. All right, Pisces. So let's see. I want to think this is you trying to ride in the victory, but I'm not sure. I mean, you do have a new start as you're leaving um, 2019, but that's the energy you're leaving behind as well. Like there's something that started that's new and I'm totally excited about it and yay. And you know, all that energy, right? However, it seems like whatever it was that you were trying to defend or fight yourself against, you know, appears to be damaging, but there's something here that, like, gives you, like, an abundance of some sort, like, something that makes you happy, something that works for you. Maybe you get friends or some shit, right? And it turns a defeat into not a defeat at all. It's like it's an undefeat, like the undead. It's like a zombie... Yeah, they're walking around, but it isn't exactly what you thought it was. Like, it's not your friend Paul anymore. I need to blow my nose. My apologies. My nose is wrong. Ew. Oh my god, these paper towels make terrible, terrible tissue. My goodness. Okay. But it seems like there is, like, this, uh... Like, if someone was coming against you for whatever reason, or what it is, it's like it backfires on them. But it's like you don't find out till well after. That kind of thing, right? It's like, um... It seems like someone might have been coming against you. But in the end, it, kinda, it, 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 it fucked them up more than it will you, you know? Like, they only did a certain amount of damage. Um, most of the damage came back on them, in a way. So let's see. This first quarter, Pisces, where you feel like you're defending yourself and you can't win. Don't fall for that goddamn trap. That's the devil. He's not welcome here. Could also be dealing with a Capricorn. There might be a bait or something that, like, might not be taken. Because there's a tower moment coming. Like, it's like you can't fight against something. Like, not taking some sort of bait brings the tower for you guys. 
And that initiates this Ace of Wands. Huh. That's fucking weird. Like, what's the bait? I want to know what the bait is. Is it like Christmas presents or some shit? <laughs> but it's like fighting endlessly about against the bait that you wouldn't fall for anyway because it's like a tower. But it brings a tower moment and causes the Ace of Wands to appear. And that's how you were leaving 2019. So it's like when you go into the new year once it's already started within the first quarter at some point... There's going to be a trigger that causes a catalyst for the Ace of Wands. You're already in the energy, but it's like it's not getting activated till after the New Year. Almost. Right? So, the Three of Cups right here. Abundance. You're having a happy, happy time. Like, happy, happy, joy, joy. Right? There's an Empress here. Could be Libra, Taurus, Aries. Doesn't have to be, but very... um. Motherly energy could be a mom, could be somebody who is somebody's spouse or wife or I don't know. She could be your partner. Or you could be her. She's feeling a little bit trapped. Oh my! Pisces, this could be you. I'm not sure, but I don't think so. It's like a. It's like. There's somebody trapped in the second quarter. And they gotta be sneaky? Huh. Okay. Well, it, 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 weird. Is it a third party? <laughs> like, look at that crazy shit. Someone who's trapped and has to be a sneak sneak. So that's weird. Alrighty. Third quarter, y'all. This defeat isn't really a defeat. You gain some knowledge. I think Aquarius had that too here, but for different reasons. Uh, there might be a king of coin, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. They are dedicated and adamant. It feels like there was a missed opportunity with them, but here you are, the Enchanter and Shaman, possibly finding your genesis, your happy ending, your um, golden age period. You're just not sure about how the options look, and you're not. You look like you're not willing to let something go. Or let it die or whatever, right? Let's see. Definitely some knowledge. Possibly about a magician. Or maybe you're acting like the magician. One of the two Pisces. And you're using your sneaky, savvy ways to figure things out. In the background, I feel like. Hmm. Prince of Wands down in your final quarter. Also known as the King of Wands. Hello, Mana. Did you just boot me with wrapping paper? Yes, while pretending it's my penis. You savage, you. Oh. <laughs> this Prince, this, pr well, the King of Wands technically, but Prince of Wands, you know. He's riding in to get that Ace of Cups at the very end. Ooh, possibly with his lover or whatever, right? What the fuck? Uh, Alright, thank you. I gotta get started on stuff anyway. Something from the past that you're getting over? Possibly, once again, this king of coin right here, where it feels like a missed opportunity, is actually something that was, or somebody who really anchored, and I feel like too shy and timid to give up something too. So both of you might actually be, hmm, weird. Oh my god, okay. Hold up. Might be some unhappiness right here. For some reason. Might happen quick! You know, you might not be using your intuition, Pisces. This is also your card, the High Priestess. So it's being necromancer and seer, but it's kind of like you're being blinded to something. It seems very distant and far away. It might be because you're a little being a little bit crazy. Might be. I don't know. This is your card too. Also, Cancer. You might be a little bit in your head about something that you. It's lunacy and delusion, right? And Pisces, you guys are all about like perception sometimes and shit, right? 
But it's also like, you know, like, um, perception comes, like, you know, there's the truth, and then there's the perception of the truth, right? And if you always accept other people's perceptions of stuff, at what point do you know what's yours and what's theirs? You know? Like, I actually have a friend who was telling me about um, a relative of theirs, and, like, the stories they were telling me, the relative really pissed me off, and I was just sitting there like, well, your relative sounds like a fucking bitch, and I don't like her. <laughs> and, it, and it was because they said such mean stuff, and it was just kind of like, dude, no, like, fuck her. She's probably upset nobody likes her, and I feel like that's part of the delusions. It's like you have to release something about yourself. You know, stop feeling trapped and crucified and confined and all that stuff. Use your fucking judgment. Um... Hmm. You know, without discipline and devotion, you can't get the wheel to turn, I feel like. And this shit's happening fast at the very end of um, 2020. Like, something's happening for you. And it's like, good shit. How you are entering 2020, my dears. And some sweet-ass energy using your intuition or at least you should be i don't know if you are though but queen of cups cancer pisces scorpio you could also be dealing with another pisces as well but you're going to be entering in the, in like steady energy of yours or whatever it is you want to call it but it's basically you're going to be mm. how can i put this Something's happened. Especially with the moon coming out, too. I feel like something's happened to your perspective that's going to switch next year. It's like there's something you didn't see until recently. And it definitely has something to do with the, the Ace of Wands right here. It's like something that is a trigger. And it gets you thinking. But, it, but it's something that you aren't seeing yet. I don't know what it is, but it's there. It's fucking there. I don't know what it is, but it's there. And it's got you having your eyes peeled for some reason. But it's also... It, uh, it feels like you're ignoring shit just because you don't want to believe it's true. Because... I don't know, people told you, and it's just kind of like, you know, like, as a Capricorn, I want to say, who gives a shit what people say? You know, what people say and think about you are none of your fucking business anyway. Like, who gives a fuck? Like, they don't give a shit what you think about them enough to, like, treat you any better. Why the fuck should you give a shit about them? Go shit in their fucking yard and see how they feel. <laughs> don't shit in anybody's yard. That's actually a terrible idea. Please don't do that. That might be illegal, too. <laughs> Yeah. You're going in with your energy, but it's almost like... Something threw you off, too. It's like, it, it, there's going to be something that's off kilter. But as soon as, like, I feel like this bait isn't taken. And this tower comes, and this new starts here... I feel like it's going to flip the switch and then you're going to be upright again. It's like there's something that has to happen. There's something that just has to punch you right in the fucking face and make your nose bloody for you to be like, oh, I get it now. You can't talk shit and not get hit in real life. That's why people talk shit on the internet. You know, it's one of those things where you learn a really valuable less life lesson. But, it, it, but until then, it's like you're in a, a predicament where you're really nettled. You know, it's bothering you to a point. And there's got to be, like, a switch. There's got to be something that you don't take the bait on or someone doesn't take the bait from you. And there's something so dramatic that happens. It's a trigger for this Ace of Wands you were already carrying the energy for. And once that trigger happens, you're going to be upright again and see things for how they really are. Like, you are the key to your perception. And I really feel like fuck everybody else should be the motto for 2020 for you. Your second quarter. Mm. Another book. You guys, I think you guys are going to be the longest. Maybe. I don't know. Look at you. The steadfast rolling them like... 
but you're worried about shit for some reason, like things not coming together or people not coming together, based on what they think is justice and what you don't think is justice. It's like opposing, it's like the defendant and the plaintiff, and it's like you're both arguing your cases. But there's really not a lot of communication going on in order to cause any sort of significant change whatsoever. Like missing aspect pieces, if you will. Ah, someone's a hostile bitch. Queen of Wands, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries. Mm. Uh, there's some, like, and that's like the King of Wands' counterpart, too. She is a very... I will say this, you know, as Sag Rising myself, if someone wants to step up, they can step up. But... You know, there's a Capricorn with an Aquarius moon. I'm not stepping up to a bitch unless they step up first, you know. She is hostile. She's prepping her cat to eat some kids, you know. Just being like, I don't want any of these children in my yard. They are peasants. Bite them on the ass, you know. Like, I'm dropping one more on that because that's like... I need clarity on that one. Oh... Because she can't let go. She's, it's like she doesn't have the patience to deal with that kind of emotional um, regard. You know, like the cups mean too much to her to let it go, right? This third quarter, there's a flimsy foundation that you're observing. Or you gain that knowledge of a flimsy foundation. It's like there's something that you thought that you failed at or you're not going to get a victory at in the third quarter. But in the third quarter, it's like... There's a faulty foundation here. Like, the security wasn't as secure as what one was believing. And now you're sitting there like a fox just waiting to be like, mm, I mean, in that chicken house, bitch. You know, like, you're just waiting. It's like, there's something there. And you know that the gears are turning here. But it's like, it's the insecurities that are going to let you see something more than what it is. Oh, yeah, someone's doing that to you. One of the two. All right. Final quarter. Pisces. Oh, look! King of Discs or Prince of Discs. Look at who that is. He's been popping up everywhere for you. Huh. The provider. The taker carer. The quicker picker upper of material shit. Pisces, you might snag you somebody who, um, who's pretty steady and want, want to take care of you. Or something, I don't know. But they're very patient, very diligent. They listen, or whatever. Um, doesn't seem to really pay attention to where he's going, though. Because if you look, his eyes are down. And, you know, like, there's a road in front of you. Like, hey, 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 hey. This person might not have a lot of focus. So you might have to get their attention sometimes. Because I think they're... Like, it's almost like they're too busy doing other shit to really, like, notice that, like, you know, they're neglecting people. Because it's just like, I gotta get that coin. But it's like, hey... You have to take care of the people you're getting quaint for, almost, too. But it's like... I don't know. I don't know if that would even be your type. I would figure you'd want attention and shit. How you're leaving. Ooh. 2020, Pisces. I always talk about this, I think, in Aquariuses. But I'll tell you guys, too. Because it always helps to install the memory. Right? I like to go to Stephen King's um, expression of uncanny or scary or creepy imagine walking into your house and everything that you own is replaced with a replica perfect replica but it's not real and you're just like wait a minute i i know i took this picture there's something wrong with it you know it's like this is a mimicry of an offer Be very careful, Pisces. I don't feel there's anything wrong here, but I think that you definitely need to establish rules and regulations and boundaries and shit. This motherfucker's showing up like three or four times now, and I feel like there is an offer being given here, but it's like a replica. You know, I love that. I don't think that's a bad thing. 
But I feel like there's a sense of um definitely replacing an original. But that's your reading for 2020, my dears. So hopefully this helps you out and I will see you later. Love your faces. Bye-bye.